Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing my foundation routine and I definitely want to do an updated one because my foundation routine is completely different and I have a few new products that I definitely wanted to add into the routine because my old one is like super old it was one of the first videos I ever made so it definitely needed to be updated but yeah so let's just get right into it okay so first I'm gonna start off by using the Revitalift Miracle Blur from L'Oreal and the oil free one and I'm just gonna apply this where I have larger pores which is in my t-zone for the rest of the face I'm going to be applying the Lumi primer from L'Oreal and I just like to put this on the rest of my face to give me a little bit of a glow and it also holds my foundation very well. Then I'm going to go in with my Garnier Anti Dark Circle Eye Roller. I absolutely love this. This is like my favorite uh, concealer ever. I just really feel like it wakes me up especially when I'm sleepy in the morning and it really covers up any dark circle area and anything like that. So I definitely want to use my finger to just pat it in because I feel like if I use a brush it will sheer out the creamy consistency of it and um, I just feel like it really just gives it a fuller coverage when I use my finger to just pat it in. Then I'm going to go in with my 3-in-1 CoverGirl. Oh, this is the best foundation ever and I'm going to be using my expert uh, face brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to uh, apply it all over my face. Now I start from my forehead and I like to work my way down because uh, I feel like my forehead is the most area to cover so whatever products left over I just drag on my earlobes and my neck. So I'm just going to keep kind of stippling and buffing it into the skin until I am satisfied with the coverage. Now you will see me really just pat it in my cheek area and my forehead area gives me a fuller coverage when I do it this way because I do have some hormonal breakouts yes it is that time of the month for me you know what are you gonna do can't forget about the necklines now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal uh, true match concealer in light and I'm just going to you know wipe off all the excess product because when you first take it out it gets so much product on the brush so I like to make it nice and thin and if you guys can tell how flat it is just to really sharpen up um, the outer edge of my eyebrow now I already did my uh, eyeshadow first so I'm only gonna put it on the outside of my eyebrow because I don't want to mess up my eyeshadow and I don't need it because I already put my actual shadow highlight on the inside and then I'm going to go and take the edge of my ring finger and just kind of flick it out and blend it in so that it's not a harsh line. I feel like I get more of a sharper, fuller coverage when I use my finger. So yeah, just pat it in and then um, your eyebrows are finished. Then I'm going to go in with my Neutrogena Shine Control Powder and my Real Techniques uh, powder brush or face brush and I like to just brush that all over and oh, my poor hula it's almost gone and I'm gonna be using my elf brush for contouring I'm just gonna apply this to the outer corner of my forehead just because I tend to look very very pale and I just need a little bit of color in my life because if not I look washed out now I'm just gonna apply this to the hollows of my cheeks and I just want to take it up to probably where the end of my eye ends and I lay it flat on my face because I feel like it's a easier blending power that way and also I like to drag it up my temples and down my jawline just to really blend everything in and then I repeat the process on the other side and like again I just leave that brush nice and flat and just blend it back and forth that way and again on my jawline and the rest of my neck and then I go back in with a fluffy brush to further contour my face, I like to just run it down the bridge of my nose because I do feel like my nose looks a little bit wider than I'd like it to. So I just like to do this little extra step because I feel like it does make a difference. And when I'm using it, I'm just using moving my fingers so I keep a straight line. Then I go in with my Coastal Sense palette and I take this blush right here and I like to just kind of flick it on the tops of my cheekbones because I do feel like if I put it on my apples of my cheeks it does make my cheeks look a little bit more uh, unnatural than I would like it to and I just really want this to be a very natural look and so I just keep adding if I need more and then I go in with a highlight and I use an eyeshadow from L'Oreal it's the iced latte one and I take my middle finger and I apply it and then I use my ring finger to just blend it out to the consistency that I like and I feel like this step definitely just adds a really nice glow to my skin and it really just takes it a step further 
as far as that natural glow. Then I'm going to go in with a setting spray from Urban Decay and I absolutely love this one. Oh, it's amazing and it just mists all over your face perfectly and you just got to let it dry and once it dries, I like to do an extra step and just add a little Neutrogena Shine Control Powder as well so that the rest of the day I don't have to blot or anything like that. As long as I put this on afterwards, it will last all day. Okay, to finish the look off, I always put my lipstick on last. That way my brushes don't get any lipstick on them or anything like that when I'm applying my foundation. This one is in Sonia Kashuk, the plum one. Okay, this is the final look. I really feel like this is such a flawless foundation. Uh, the 3 in 1 really is the star of the show here. Alright guys, so that's it for my updated foundation routine, and I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave comments, and if you're new, subscribe. I love you guys so much as always. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!